Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial, and today it's on advanced teleportation. Now I have the dev with me, um, he's an old friend, where is he? He's flown off. So, um, Julian, if you'd like to explain what this plugin does, and then we'll get into how to use it. Alright, well the plugin basically makes warps and teleporting look a lot nicer for your server. So, when you do slash warp, it would open up a GUI, listing all your warps, if you have any. And uh, when you slash TP, it opens the GUI with all the players on, which you can just click the TP to them. All right, let's uh, show them how to create a warp. So it's very simple. Instead of plugins where it's set warp, it's actually warp create, and then you choose a name. So grass, very original. And we can create multiple like this. Um, so then if you warp, you have them here. Is it possible to use color codes yet or not? Oh, actually no, I haven't uh, implemented that yet. But, but you could do that in a later something. update? Yeah, I am. Oh, that'd be sure. really nice. Um, so yeah, you can also remove them by doing force test warp remove and then... Delete actually. Delete, yes. <laughs> test. And that deletes the um, warp. So yeah, it's a very, very cool plugin. Uh, you can download it for free on Spigot. I will leave a link. And hopefully he will be adding teleport accept and some other cool features. Uh, right now, actually, you can set warp permissions. So if you go to the config, you can set a permission for players warp. So if you want custom donor warps, you can set the permission. Damn, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, pretty simple plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.